So welcome back again to Throwback Thursday and today we're going to another one of my uh, more favorite models is Lego Pompeii. So this is the, the third model for the Nicholson Museum in Sydney. We started off with the Lego Colosseum and then we went to uh, the Acropolis and now of course Pompeii. Now the real trick with Lego Pompeii is uh, how do we make it come to life? How do we have this whole volcanic moment and things, you know, how do, how do we get it to happen? So basically we decided to, to lay the town out pretty much as it was and the Nicholson Museum gave us about 50 things that they wanted to see in the model, famous moments, different things happening, scenes that they want to recreate it and the like. So uh, we laid it all out and what we decided to do is with Pompeii, it's on a, a relatively gradual hill surrounded by its walls and all of the rest. And then at the back of the model, we cut it away. So you can see the lava bubbling underneath, lava tubes and caves and some little moments where lava's almost at the surface and things like that. So we, we brought it to life that way. And we of course put in a couple of hundred LED lights so the lava looks like it's bubbling and moving and all that kind of stuff. And the real key to the lava is this rather unusual color here, which is trans orange. Now we don't really use this Lego color too often. Probably it's most famous for indicator lights on backs of cars and taxis and things like that. But um, yeah, it's really quite an unusual color. So uh, it doesn't come in a lot of shapes. So we didn't have too many options here. So we have one by one plates, two by two plates and some one by one bricks. So basically use those to the max as much as we can to get the whole lava shape and get the fissures and all of that kind of stuff happening. So we've managed to capture Pompeii in the moment just before the eruption happens and everybody's going about their business having a happy time. All the Lego minifigures are totally oblivious to what's about to happen to them. So yeah, so there's quite a lot of fun happening. Um, there's a few really unique colors in it. There's a lot of dark orange roofs to, to match the terracotta and um, yeah, it, it's quite a fun model. It's relatively large and it's built in two sections as well. So it's about two and a half meters by two meters. So it's really quite a big model too. Um, yeah, there's lots of fun and, fun and games inside the model. There's a lot, a lot of Easter eggs, which of course we love to put in as well. And um, yeah, we had a, had a great time building it.